She's perfect. <laughs> Nikki Hoven and Josh Bolton can't believe how much they love their baby girl, Amelia. But over the last week... I was in shock for like two days. They've learned a lot about believing. I couldn't believe it. In things they can't see. And I was like, I think I'm having a baby. <laughs> things like, well, Amelia. And I said, there's no way. I said, you're crazy. For 37 weeks, no one, not Josh, not Nikki, not anyone in Rossburg, Washington. They were just as shocked as we were. Had a clue that Nikki was pregnant. I never heard about nothing like this. Around 5 a.m. on January 7th, Nikki woke up with stomach pains. She walked around, then it hit her. She recognized that pain from when she delivered her daughter, Kinsley. Josh didn't believe her. And I told her, I said, if you were having a baby, your water would have broke. It was like on a command. It was just like, it broke. And then I'm like, uh, my water just broke. And he's like, oh, God. I just told her sorry. And so finally, I'm like, okay, it's, it's going to happen. And next thing you know, out came the baby. <laughs> I caught her. She came shooting out. Amelia May Bolton, 8 pounds, 7 ounces, 19 and a half inches long. You believed her at that point? Yeah. <laughs> the couple called 911. Dispatch notified volunteer firefighter Austin Burkhalter. He happened to be with his mom, Susan, a retired EMT. And he said, it's Nikki Hoven. I said, she's not pregnant. The roads around Nikki and Josh's house were flooded with three and a half to four feet of water in some spots. The night before, Austin took this fire rig. It's called the Beast. And parked it near his mom's house on high ground, just in case of an emergency. I think I kind of made fun of him, like, no one's going to have a fire. It's like torrential downpour. God just uh, put it on my heart to bring it up there. It was a nudge Austin didn't see, but believed. So many times we say, ah, nah, and, uh, and he, he listened. Together, they unleashed the beast. Austin drove through the water. With the headlights underwater. <laughs> yeah. With the spotlight out the window. Soon, Susan and Austin, Nikki's childhood friend, were there. I was just like, oh, thank goodness, you know, they're here. Austin walks in, for Calter. And I'm like, you gotta go. <laughs> With guidance from dispatch, Susan helped deliver Nikki's placenta. Just so proud of them for what they did. Then everyone, even Nikki, climbed back into the beast. Through the floodwaters they went to the Rossburg store. Here at the store, an ambulance was waiting with first responders from Waukaikum County Fire District 3. They drove Nikki and the baby 40 miles to the nearest hospital and cut the umbilical cord on the way. Doctors at Columbia Memorial gave everyone a clean bill of health. Nikki asked how she could have missed being pregnant. She was on birth control and wasn't showing. Her OBGYN said Nikki had carried her baby in the back of her womb. These photos were taken just a few days before she gave birth. Where did this come from? Back home, the family's house was full of gifts. Word travels fast around Rossburg. We have everything for a baby now, and we had nothing, because obviously we didn't know. They say it takes a village to raise a child. I just feel so blessed to have been part of this. It's just amazing. <laughs> In this town. The community has just been really amazing in helping. It took a village to deliver one. Just I'm in love and just so thankful for everything. In Rossburg, Washington, Catherine Cook, KGW News.